right? Today, we're going to go ahead and start off like this. We got Pops in the building, man. And it's a very special episode because this training camp is in the books, man. Week one, it's in the books. We finally got some football, finally got some action to look at, man. So I think uh, I think it's a very eventful week. So I just want to get your quick takes on it real quick, and then we'll go a little deeper, man. Turf, let's start with you. How you feeling about week one, everything you heard so far? Yeah, week one was uh, ecstatic, you know. Um, it's sad that, you know, fans – had to ruin ruin a good uh you know week of training camp <laughs> uh, particularly content creators and and other idiots and yes i'm calling people out because Uh-oh. it's the last thing we yeah. need man it's the last thing we need you know initially i was going you know i was looking at it from that it was a team perspective team player thing like i didn't know what went on with this whole kermit the frog thing but now that i know hence you know the you know the the monologue initially we're gonna have to have a grown-up talk man because we're hurting our team by doing this foolishness it makes no sense man and and you know what i mean i i mean that has to we have to have that discussion but you know outside of that everything was great man everything was great uh i i think we're really starting to see who is going to be who who is going to start where and and who's definitely going you know play that uh you know that that breather role things along those lines so i'm excited to talk about all of it man yeah 100 percent. i mean pops man i know i haven't been able to talk as, as much raider ball with you but how are you feeling so far man we won in the books um you know first of all excited you know what i'm saying i mean we, we finally get that you know we get some tangible news to talk about you know what i mean um, so it's exciting in that regard. And, um, you know, piggybacking on what Turf said real quick. Yeah. You know, the crazy part about the little Kermit the Frog thing that, you know, kind of got everybody in a tizzy for a minute is like you. And I agree that fan shouldn't have did what the fan did. You know what I mean? But then on the other hand, too, I'm kind of like, you know, um, it's all right. Like, like AP said, we're going to talk our shit. It wasn't something that was done intentionally, but, um, I still kind of like the bravado of it. You know what I mean? Like, hey, we're going to back it up. I feel like we'll back it up, you know, but it wasn't cool at the same time, you know. So I'm kind of on the fence with it, but we'll back it up. <laughs> but as far as what's going on on the field, yeah. oh, man, you know, I think everything is just like what they've been talking about. You know what I mean? Like we've been talking about, like the defense is shining. Uh, Ja'Cory and Bennett, turf, getting some good, uh, yes. you know. Good talk. Good. We're going to talk. we going to talk. Absolutely. Absolutely. We got to go on a victory lap this week, Turf. We on it. We got to we gotta take it this week, bro. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, hey, no, I'm with that. I'm with that. Yeah, it's great. Hey, hey, big bro. Uh, real yeah. talk. I don't know if you got all of the particulars on this whole Kermit thing. And, uh-huh. and yeah, see, because that's the, you know, I actually had, in my opinion, a way worse, uh, mm-hmm. you know, first take. Right? And Chris, yeah. everybody knows on the panel. Because I was like, nah, own it, right? Remember, I was like, nah, own that. But that was with the context of that was a team situation. That was a team deal. This yeah, is the not fans, a team. Yeah, you're right. The defense it's not a that, team man. situation. A fan did that. And not only did they do it, they maliciously did it with, guess what? A oh, rookie. Because they oh, knew they wouldn't have been able to get rid of that. You know what I'm saying? Get off yeah. with that. They couldn't have did that to Max. They it's, couldn't did that to Max. You see what I'm saying? Oh, so bro. yeah, I'm I'm I got a I got a problem with all of this, man. Because say so, say that don't say that because yeah. we gotta we gotta keep it. We gotta keep it for the end. We gotta keep it for the end. <laughs> yeah. 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 You got to start going in. I already know. I need yeah, I, 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 yeah, that. I got, I'm ready. I ain't gonna lie. Bottle Your boy is you. over here. I need that. Right I need up. that. But but Chris, man, I mean, going into training camp week one, man. I mean, where where are you at so far? All right, so so we're gonna we're gonna keep the Kermit thing later. So besides yeah, that, oh yeah, 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 we gotta okay. say that. Man. Yeah, yeah so, we gotta, okay. We so let, just all, pure, let that stew up. Yeah, real. yeah. So for just pure um, um, camp, you know, like I'm I'm happy, man, because you know I, we've been at the point in the season or earlier in the season uh, or off season where everything was just speculation with a whole bunch of speculation. You know, me, I'm, I'm preaching to you guys. Like, man, I'm telling you, Jacorian's going to bounce back. He's going to come back, folk. Like, there's a lot of speculation. And all I could do is be like, I'm telling you it's going to happen. So, you know what I'm right. saying? And, I mean, and y'all too. You know, y'all y'all talking about AOC. Like, hey, he's he's been working hard. He's been he, and all this. And, you know, now we can finally see what's what and who's who. 
So, um, you know, and I, I, I love it. You know, of course, you know, I love what I'm hearing from that defense. You know, it seems like that cornerback, too, isn't as big of a concern as most thought it was. Um, of course, that defensive line doing their they thing. Um, you know, some of the young guys, really, and Dylan Lobby's doing well. Uh, DeCamrian is doing well. So we're hearing a lot of great things, and I love it, man. So, you know, I'll, I'll keep it short and sweet, but... You know, I'm 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 at a good spot right now with week one being in the books. For sure. One hundred percent. Last but not least, my man Leo, what's going on, man? How you feel about week one? Man, I am so excited from the first time I saw him <laughs> get off that bus and talk about being back in LA. Like yeah. I felt it. Y'all know ever since we got it, I've been fucking with the whole LA AP thing. So just seeing him out there, hearing that our, our defense is so fast, it's moving. Everyone's clicking, everyone's gelling, everyone's putting in that work that you hear from both sides and uh, the competition. AP coming out and saying, hey, everybody's playing. Everyone's fucking playing. We're all going to play this preseason. We're all going to earn our spots out there. And that's what has me so high up. I mean, I mean, the only sad part I have of it was they didn't let your boy in, bro. I was at the door. I tried to sneak <laughs> <laughs> What'd they say? <laughs> you know, uh, they wouldn't let me in. I'm like, you don't know who I am? Like, you needed on, a you pass? Know, like, <laughs> <laughs> they what they say, you needed a pass up, or something? <laughs> but That's seeing, it. like, who went in there, like, I get it. The VIPs, people's families, stuff like that. Like, I understand. But your boy will be in Vegas for the open training camp. So I'll definitely be hitting that one. But, okay. but I'm just excited and ready to start seeing all the stuff we've been talking about offseason to see it finally go down on the field. And see who's gonna come up and who's gonna show up. Yep. And don't worry about it, Leo, man. Sooner or later, man. I mean, not even sooner or later. Real soon, we're gonna get that pass regardless, yeah. man. So we're gonna be in there regardless. I'm not even tripping on that. Yeah, I'm not even tripping on that. But what I, what, I, what I will say, man, I'm gonna echo what basically all y'all said, put it in a nutshell, man, gives y'all the rundown. But um, that we finally get to see who's who. That's, that's basically it. All the talk, all the, oh, I've been at, you know, the facility seven days a week whatever the case all right for sure now we get to see you know what's going on now granted we understand that the pads don't even come on to this next tuesday so yeah. that's when i feel like we really really know what we're gonna have you know especially with the running backs can't wait for that um so i'm looking for that but at the same time i take you know this type of portion with corners quarterbacks receivers i take that serious because at the end of the day it is what it is these is who's getting the most work you know what mm -hmm. i mean and in fact that true we're looking at the DBs. We and we know what we have in the receiver room, but we're looking at the DB shine. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, young dude shine. That's great, honestly.